Look, it's no secret that people have been a little, let's just say brutal to Korok. Still, various war crimes aside, I think this guy deserves just a little bit of a vacation. Uh, despite the fact that he actually wants to reach his friend just over there, I'm going to carry him all the way across Hyrule from his position at Tabantha Bridge Stable all the way to the wonderful beachside resort at Lurlin Village. He's getting a vacation, forcefully. So I guess there's nothing to do but start walking. Riveting content, I know. By the way, folks, sorry I've been gone for so long. I have had COVID and have sounded like death, which is why I didn't record any video. But now I'm back and doing dumb things in Tears of the Kingdom, so subscribe. We should get this guy a car. And I think I have just the one. It may look a little rough, but I think we can attach this little fellow to our car here. <laughs> and the Korok mobile is off. Oh, excuse me, gentlemen. Don't mind me. I'm committing vehicular manslaughter. Not admissible in court. Oh, oh, oh my god, I'm stuck on a ledge. I, we seem to have hit a snag. I will say, this lets me take in so much of the uh, area of Tears of the Kingdom that's just gorgeous. Oh, this is where there was a shrine in Breath of the Wild. The whole, like, arrow shooting through the holes thing. I'm about to drive off a cliff. Oh, oh, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, how am I still standing? Okay, I have an idea. Or right, we may be drowning a Korok. He's literally drifting away. Okay, let's see if we can fix this. We're not gonna make it back up, are we? Okay, we finally got him out of the water. Let's see if we can make our way out of this ravine. You just stick on there and we'll get out of here. Okay, not too shabby. Okay, what? the actual prick are you doing? I have no arrows. Look, I'm just trying to help my buddy over here. Can you, like, leave me alone? Okay. That's a no. Oh my god, please do not fall down. No, no, no. Loser. Give me your bananas. I wonder, can I make a flying machine like this? The answer is no. I have a feeling that if I let this guy get too far out of my reach, he'll just disappear and despawn, which is less than ideal for me. I wish you could attach Koroks to shield, that would just be so funny. Still, Sandin Park is a good little checkpoint, which means it might be time to get another vehicle going. Alright buddy, time to get on the new car, because we have to go. This is actually kind of harder to steer than I thought it would be. Interesting. And now it's thunderstorming. Perfect. Oh my god, he's getting away from me. Nope. If he gets too far, he will despawn. Oh my god. Okay, this is just not going well. Where am I going? Oh god, not another ravine. Man, the risk I took was calculated, but man, am I bad at math. Can this thing do anything in the water? Oh my god, it can. Okay, this is huge. You don't need to reach your friend, buddy. You need to reach a vacation. Don't worry, I'll get you there. Totally not waterboarding you. Um, just had a sudden thought. Is that a waterfall? Okay, seriously, Hylia, stop trying to smite me. You know what, that definitely seems like a waterfall. I'm kind of shocked I survived that. I'll take it, though. Oh my god, Hylia, stop. Are we about to say goodbye to the world's worst hovercraft? I think we are. We just need to climb this. Very, very carefully. Oh hey, there's kind of a little path. Are we going to ignore that Bokoblin? I don't think we are going, going to get the chance. What if I use the Korok as a meat shield? Kind of defeats the purpose of him getting vacation, but you know, I'm willing to risk it. Or he could just turn around and walk away. You know what? I'll take that too. Why does it sound like there's something chasing me? Is there something chasing me? Okay, uh, fucking rude. Yes, I'm trying to run. I can only go so quickly carrying you. Okay, now that we have a little bit of breathing room, time to make a contraption. Let's get riding. I'm stuck. Okay, world's worst motorbike. Oh, hey, you need to reach your friend? Oh my god, okay, I have an idea. What if instead of taking just one Korok, we take several Koroks? I'm just imagining, like, a train of Koroks on the way to a Lurlin village. Okay, you can sit on the back, and we'll just get going. <laughs> Link, savior of Hyrule and also Korok kidnapper. Now we just need to cross Proxim Bridge, but I'm fairly certain I cannot actually get up that. 
Perfect. Okay, what if we... We can make it work, I think. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. A, oh, oh, my, oh, my God. A Korok stack and an off-road vehicle on a rickety old bridge. That's the high lane life, folks. Okay, we need to do... We do need to pick up the pace a little bit, though. Okay, we just need to make it through Dueling Peaks now. Uh-huh. Is that what I fucking think it is? <laughs> a third Korok for the forced vacation. Don't worry, buddy. This is completely voluntary. Only in the fact that you actually... You don't have any choice. You're coming with us. Oh my god, the Korok stack is hilarious. <laughs> don't mind me. Did you just say this will toughen you up to, in regards to me almost running him over? What the fuck? Okay, good news is we're almost through Dueling Peak. Bad news is we definitely should have taken the Hylia Bridge. I don't know how I'm going to get around all of this. I imagine it's going to involve flying machines, though. Don't mind me. Just passing through. Or or maybe not. Oh my god, maybe not. This should work. Hopefully it gets off the ground. Oh, just ever so barely. Okay, we just need to get functionally across this mountain range. Worst case scenario is the uh, glider decides that it doesn't want to exist in this world anymore and it despawns, which would be unfortunate. I don't have enough height. Oh my god, I don't have enough height. No, 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 no. Definitely not the worst case scenario, but also definitely not the best case scenario. Let's just try to get into the air again. Oh, you know, that is the worst case scenario. Okay, at least let me get up to this ledge, please. I'm begging you. Oh my god. Almost lost all three of them, but we didn't. Okay, give me the fans. Okay, who asked you to be here? If that causes my fucking Koroks to despawn, I'm going to lose it. Fuck! Okay, so good news is we're back to where we died. Bad news is I have two less Koroks. And this flying machine is impossible to steer. And apparently there's a boss bow cop in here. Perfect. We're just gonna skirt around him, try our absolute damnedest not to crash, and get this Korok his vacation. We just need to not run out of battery directly next to a Lionel. Don't mind me, buddy. Just passing through. I said seriously, don't mind me. Don't mind me. You shoot me, I swear to God. We get to the stable and then we make a new method of travel. Oh, and we have a visitor here. Perfect. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. Whether or not this is actually going to work is literally anybody's guess. Although I might just carry the cart across the bridge. You know what? We'll stick you together for safekeeping and then stick you on here. Okay, let's see how steerable this is. And if it, the answer is not at all. Uh, oh my god. Okay, so the answer is not at all. Uh, we'll just carry it across the bridge. <laughs> yeah, that seems like a smarter plan. Kind of negates the point of it being a cart, but you know what? I'm nothing if not redundant. Okay, with that, I think we can actually hop on our cart now. Because we're really close to Lurlin. In fact, if I can just follow this road all the way, we've actually made it. Okay, I will say the steering on this is a lot more responsive than I thought it would be. And now we're racing a bull. Excuse me. Hey, wave goodbye to your friend, little Korok. Oh, we are so close. I can almost taste it. You know what? I think it's only fair that we carry them the rest of the way in. Or we could just ride this runaway cart. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, we made it. We are in Laurelin, and we need to get these guys their goddamn vacation. Howdy, fellas. Welcome to Laurelin. Look, you don't need to reach your friend anymore. You're here. At the best vacation spot in Hyrule. I mean, just look at that sunset. Sunrise? This is definitely a sunrise. Uh, look at the beach, guys. You know what? I know it will make you a little bit more at home. There we go. A little sunshade, a little campfire, and you get relaxation on the beach. You know what? I think that's a job well done. Alrighty, folks, if you want to see me do more weird challenges like this or see me speed around the game in interesting ways, be sure to leave a like and a comment. I've been Speaker4, and I will catch you on the flip side. By the way, I'm sure you'll enjoy this video right here. And we'll let these guys just ride out their vacation on the beach, and I will see y'all later. Bye!